today's fitness challenge. Today, we are doing the squat jump challenge brought to you by our big sponsors, Par Hawaii and Servco Pacific Inc. They're doing an amazing job helping to keep all of these virtual program. No. They're doing an amazing job helping to keep all of these virtual programs running and help keeping all of us fit. So now let's get underway and let's look at the demo for our squat jumps. A jump squat is a fun cardio and resistance exercise that builds on the squats that we've already learned how to do. In order to do a jump squat, you have to assume the regular starting position that you would with a squat. So you want your feet planted about shoulder width apart. You want to put your arms out in front of you, either like this or like this to help balance out your body. And then you want to do the first movement going down into the squat position. And instead of shooting back up normally, just like with a squat, you want to actually jump and then land straight and come back up. And then that's one repetition. If that's a little bit too difficult for you, you can do it using a chair. So you put the chair out, assume your starting position, go down and then up. The jump is very important to add at the end because it adds an extra cardiovascular element to the movement. Awesome. Now let's get ready for our warm up. So let's find some space. Be sure you have enough to move around. Be sure you have enough space to jump for the actual challenge itself. And let's get warmed up. Okay, so now let's get warmed up for our fitness challenge. First thing are our washing machines. Put your arms out in front of your body and we're gonna twist side to side 10 times. And we're gonna bring our shoulders perpendicular to our hips. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, next, windmills. We'll stretch out our shoulder joint. And what we're gonna do is be bringing our arms all the way up and back and being sure that our elbows reach our ears. So two, three, four, five. And we're gonna wanna do this 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job, now the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Next, we're going to do our lower body. So we're going to do flamingos, and we're going to want to bring our knees up and hold them one at a time while balancing on the other leg. This will stretch out kind of the back part of our butts. So bring your knee up and balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Now we're going to do the other side. Bring your knee up and then balance. And it might be hard, but try to keep it if you can. And if you can't, you're gonna wanna find a wall or something that you can lean on to help prop yourself up with one of your arms, all right? So bring your knee up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Next, we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but by bringing our feet back and balancing. So grab your ankle and then balance and hold. So one, two, three, four, five. And you should really feel this through the front of your leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Awesome job. Now let's switch and do the other side. Woo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good. All right. Now we're kind of all limbered up, and let's get into our fitness challenge. Woo. Okay. So, as usual, I'm going to give us a five-second countdown to start. And then we're going to do the challenge for 30 seconds. And then I'll give us a five second warning when we're ending. We are going to be doing three sets of this. So you have three chances to get as many squat jumps done as you can in 30 seconds. And this is really to help build up our general cardiovascular strength, like we talked about last week, and our lower body strength. And this will help us perform better in our holiday fitness classic, right? Okay, so. Find your space, get set, assume your starting position, and now five, four, three, two, one, go. Awesome, good job. That's a great job, Rachel, great job. Woo, good job, keep going, come on. Get yourself a bounce, everybody. Great job, Kylie. Great job, Matt. Awesome job, Gilbert. That's an amazing squat jump. All of y'all are doing super well. All right, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Good job. Y'all all had an amazing first set. I know this is a new movement for a lot of us, and I'm really, really impressed by how well we're all doing. Awesome. Now stretch it out a bit if you need to. Take a breather. Maybe grab some water. We're going to get underway in just a bit. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, explosive, Ian. You're getting even higher than I was. Oh, great job, Gilbert. Awesome job. Awesome job, Nicole. Y'all are all doing so well with this. You're getting so high up off the ground. I bet your hearts are really pumping. Woo, way to go, Nicole. Get it. All right, five, four, love the shakas. Three, two, one, stop. Awesome. It was a great second round. I'm really impressed with all of you. I see a lot of us are getting winded. We're getting our lungs moving. We're getting our hearts beating. I know this is a little bit of a difficult exercise, and that's why I'm so, so proud of all of you for doing so well with it. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Way to go! Y'all are all getting some amazing jumps in here. Be sure you're counting. Oh, great, great job. Oh, that's an awesome job, Kylie. Yeah, loving the shirt you're repping. Throw me a shot, see if you can. Yeah, all right, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Awesome job, everybody. Y'all did great. All right, if you got five, put your hand up on any one of your sets. Yeah, great job, everybody. If you were able to get seven, put your hands up. Woo, I see you, Renee. All right, um, did anybody get more than 10? Ooh, all right, 15. Yeah, how about 20? Anybody get 20? Ooh, few 20s. Y'all all did so, so, so amazing on this one. I'm really, really impressed. Um, I, as always, uh, want to remind y'all to check the So High website and the Stay Fit Facebook group to be sure that you got your challenge star, right? Um, and that's for the raffle. 
Now we're going to show the demo for the standing single leg hold. It'll look a lot like some of our warm up stuff, uh, but this is next week's. And next week, we are going to be doing this for as long as we can. So for time instead of the number of reps. All right, here's your example. The single leg hold is a movement that all of us should be familiar with from our warm up. In order to do the single leg hold, you want to balance yourself get in your starting position, raise up onto one leg, grab your ankle, and hold the position. You want to be sure you're engaging your core and your leg muscles, and you're holding your neck and your body up straight. From the side, the movement will look about like this. And you just want to hold this. If this is slightly too difficult, you can find a wall or something similar to help balance yourself but you don't want to do it too much because the point of this movement is to work on both our mobility and our balance and really build that neural connection. Woo! Excited for that next week. Now let's jump into our health and wellness session eight. And this is the third week of bingo card two, right? And this will give us some information so we can cross off some more bingo squares and hopefully live happier and healthier lives. Today's topic is sunlight. Woo! It's especially important for all of us living here in Hawaii because we get so much sun and the sun is so strong here, right? So who can tell me how they think that the sun is healthy? What is healthy about the sun? What is healthy about sunlight? Uh, Nicole says vitamin D. That's very imp important. We'll get to that. Um, Rachel says sunscreen. Well, sunscreen is important, but it doesn't necessarily have to do with the sun being healthy. Um, there are a number of reasons that the sun is, health is healthy. It helps sustain all of life on Earth, which is very important for us. And if we go to the next slide, we'll figure out some key reasons why sun is especially healthy for humans, right? So some sunlight is healthy. And the reason I say some so boldly there is because sunlight, like all things, requires a little bit of moderation. One of the key ways that the sun is healthy for us is because it boosts our immune system. Sun helps our bodies to produce vitamin D when it gets absorbed in through our skin. So some people may think or may have heard that the sunlight has vitamin D, um, but it doesn't actually have vitamin D. What it does is it tells our body and it helps our bodies to make its own vitamin D, right? And vitamin D is super duper essential for our bodies to function especially during COVID, oops, my bad, little typo there, because it helps to boost our immune system functioning. And our immune system is what helps keep us all from being sick, right? So how does the sun affect your daily lives? Oop, another typo, my bad. How who can give me an example of the sun affecting your daily life or something that you do in the sun every day or that you need the sun for? Uh, Rachel says swimming. Yep, swimming is a great activity to do outdoors in the sunlight. So is walking. That's a good one. The sun does help to relieve a little bit of stress, right? Keeps us warm, lets us uh, just kind of relax on the beach. Um, Sarah says suntan, and suntan might, sun tanning might be a little bit relaxing, but it's not super duper healthy, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, some, another way that the sun is super duper healthy for us is because it really, really impacts our sleep. The sun helps our bodies regulate their internal clocks. How many of us have ever heard of something called an internal clock? Can you put your hands up if you have or sound off in the chat? Our body's internal clock is pretty much what lets us know or what tells our bodies 
when to do certain things and what time it is, kind of. So how do you know, and who can please put it in the chat, how do you know when to go to bed? And how do you think that our, how do you think that we knew when to go to bed before we had clocks? Good, Ian says when the sun goes down, right? Um, when the sun sets. So we are animals, right? We are animals that are awake during the daylight. And the sun helps set our internal clocks and tell us when to wake up and when to go to sleep. And it does this because sun exposure helps to regulate our melatonin, which is a really, really important chemical in our brains. And that chemical, when it's released in our brains and when it goes out into our body, is what tells us to go to sleep. And when our bodies are exposed to sunlight, the sunlight reduces the amount of melatonin our bodies release and make until nighttime. And then the sun goes down and we have more melatonin, right? A lot of you may have heard of melatonin tablets or it is a thing that you can take as a sleep aid sometimes under a doctor's um, prescription or a doctor's order. Another cool little fact about the sun is if you ever find yourself having jet lag after travel, if you get sunlight, it helps your body to reset its clock and get back to a normal sleep rhythm. Sun is very, very important for us to just be able to have a normal sleep rhythm. And so our bodies can do all of the work that they have to while we sleep. Now, can we get too much sun? Is there such a thing as too much sun? Yeah, there is. Of course there is. We've all heard of getting too much sun. What is that called? What happens to us when we get too much sun? Yes, Renee, we get sunburned, right? We've all heard of that. We have this little doodle right here in front of us that is sunburned. And if we go to the next slide, we'll explain that. Jo oh, wait, I have one more question. How do we know when we get too much sun? This is a bit of a follow-up. Don't overthink it. Yes, Nicole, uh, you get redness. Our skin can tell us, right? So our skin may change color a little bit. Um, also, it hurts. And these are called sunburns. And sunburns happen when our bodies get too much sunlight in too short of a time, right? So if you have a big blast of sunlight, it's a super duper sunny day. And even if you're only outside for like 30 minutes, if you're not doing anything to protect yourself, you can get a sunburn. Similarly, if the sun isn't very strong, but you're outside for a really, really, really long time, you can still get a sunburn. So it's about how much sun you get, not just um, whether it's for a long period of time or a short period of time. And the sun is very powerful and too much of its UV rays, which is the same stuff that tells our bodies to make, mel uh, to make vitamin D, is what actually burns our skin. And a cool little factoid about sunburn is that it is just like any other type of heat burn. So if you've ever burned yourself on a stove or on a hot plate, and you've seen how your skin reacts, right? You get that little burn or you get a blister. That's exactly what UV rays do to your skin also. So now that we've learned a little bit more about sunburns and about how the sun affects our skin, what are some of your favorite ways to protect yourself from the sun? Good, yeah, Sarah, sunscreen, that's awesome. That's an easy one. What else? Sunglasses, sunglasses are important because your eyes need protection too. Your eyes can get sun damaged just like your skin. Ryan says wear a hat, that's an easy one. That's what we did before we even had sunscreen, right? All right, um, and a rash guard, that's a perfect one. That's probably 
one of the best ones here because you also use rash guards when you surf, right? All right. So as always, if you need to submit your bingo card, please email me at ha at sohawaii.org. Nicole, I did get your email and I am arranging when you can come in with yours from last term. I also want to just give a reminder that the bingo cards go along with our virtual activities and these weekly lessons that I do. So you, because it is only week three, it is impossible for us to have a blackout already or to be that close to a blackout. And remember, as you fill out your bingo card, that I do check them. That's why some of the squares say that you have to post a picture, right? Um, and I want to give a quick shout out as well to Ian, who is doing an amazing job emailing me all his pics so that we can post them on the Facebook page for him. Just a reminder that if you can't post to the Facebook page or you don't have a Facebook account or don't want to post to Facebook, you can still email me all of the pictures that you would post, right? So you email me the pictures and I will count that toward your bingo square. Are there any questions? Oh, um, okay, so if you didn't get your bingo card, uh, you can just go online, either on this uh, Facebook page or on our website and print it out. It is posted there and we will update it with a new one when the next term starts. You don't, uh, yes, you, um, and yes, you can start that bingo card anytime during the term. It might just be a little bit more difficult to cross off all the squares, right? And we will show you all where that bingo card is posted after we wrap up this lesson. Oh, and I am also being reminded that all of our health videos, in case you missed one or you have a question, are posted on YouTube. And they're now set up in their own little playlist. So you can watch one and it'll keep playing all of the rest. And we will now, uh, or I'd now like to give you a little reminder to come back on Thursday for our workout with Denise. The ID for that is 815-3406-5939. That's Thursday, November 12th at 3.30 p.m., all right? And, now, um, and yes, Rachel, what is your question? If you can type it, please. Uh, also, while you type, if you, this is a picture, or this, what you are seeing on your screen right now is our website. So if you go to the main page and you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the So High Stays Fit red square here, right? It's our at-home health and wellness program. And then you scroll down and you will see a section called Stay Fit Bingo, as we've shown here. Just go down to that green highlighted text there and just hit download, and that will download the bingo card for you. And if you have any questions, please, please, please type them into the chat so that I can read them and answer them right now. Also, everyone here at the top of the website, you can see a little YouTube icon. If you click on this, it will bring you to our Special Olympics YouTube page. Here we upload our workouts in case you want to go back and follow along again. But as Walker mentioned, we do have all of our health and wellness sessions posted here. So if there is something on your bingo uh, chart that you need to check off that is in relation to one of our health and wellness sessions, you can watch them here. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so now we are going to jump into talk story time as soon as we are unmuted. However, before we all start talking, um, I will take two questions. Rachel, you have your hand up. Yes? Oh, hold on. There you go. Should be, there you go. What is your question, Rachel? 
Um, the, um, um, you know those the you know how they post a picture and all that. Mhm. Does it that um, does it? Can mom email you those pictures, or does it they post it? Your mom can email them. Okay, thank you. Cause I know she, cause she doesn't have Facebook, so I don't know how she. Can. That's all right. She can email them. <laughs> um, hey, Walker. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kylie first, then Nicole, and then uh, we'll jump into talk story. Yes, Kylie. Okay. Uh, sorry. Let me, let's, one second. We have to unmute you first. Oh, you can unmute yourself, actually. There, okay, you, go. there you go. Okay, did you get my message in the chat that I sent to you? I have program on Thursday, so I don't think I'm going to be joining Denise on Thursday for the workout. All right, that's okay. We'll miss you, but that's okay. So I'm only going to do today and Friday. All right. Uh, and yes, Nicole? Hey, Walker, I think you made a mistake, and the 12th is on a Wednesday. I think tomorrow is a, uh, is a workout with uh, Denise on Wednesday the 12th. Ooh. Oh, I think it's on, I'm pretty sure it's on Thursday. No, it's not. It's on Wednesday. Nice. Um, oh, no, it is definitely on Thursday because I'm being reminded that tomorrow is actually a holiday. Does anyone okay. know what holiday it is? Veterans. Veterans Day, okay. Yeah, Veterans Day. So we will not be having our workout tomorrow. We will be having it on Thursday. To make yes, up totally. Okay, now yeah. thank all of you for bearing with me and for being so patient. And now we can please enjoy our talk story time. <laughs> 